Hey guys, this is Eric from ET Figure Unboxing, and in this video, we're going to take a look at Figma EX33 Yuki from Soda Online 2. So, most of you should know that this figure is not out in the market right now, and she will come out at the end of this year, I believe. And this is convention exclusive as for now. I only got it early so I can show you guys. Um, it's two times the price, so I suggest you do not do it. Here is the left of the box, here is the right of the box, and here is the back of the box. And it's pretty standard, so let's not waste any more time and see what we got. Alright, so here we have the figure still in the inner packaging, and she came with, I guess, enough stuff. Like, at least there's two face plates, and they look really, really good. And here are the wings, and let's bust this thing open and see what we got. Alright, so here we have the figure itself, and as expected from Max Factory, she looks really, really good. And she doesn't stand too well on her own. You kind of have to wiggle around a little bit just because her hair is kind of heavy. Uh, well, her hair is not too heavy, but um, it, the problems with her leg is so thin that um, you really need a stand for this. Like, I don't, I, I wouldn't recommend just you know standing her there without a stand. But yeah, let's take a closer look. So I'm usually kind of scared when you buy these um, event exclusive figures because they sometimes have to rush out for the event, so the quality control is sometimes really really bad but this figure seems to be really nice i can't find any of the paint splashing or anything over there um yeah it's really really good paint i think yeah uh, maybe some splashing here and there but for the most part this looks really really good i like it and let's jump straight into the articulation. Right, so for the articulation, it's fairly standard. I'm just gonna quickly go over it. Um, she can look up and down, no problem. She can turn her head, no problem. And there's a Figma joint in her hair, like so. And I forgot to mention how nice her hair looks. I like all the details and the layer on the hair. And just look at the banana. The banana goes all the way to the back of her hair. That's really, really good attention to detail. And for the shoulder, um, the whole thing is on a ball joint and does have a swivel over here. Allows a big range of articulation and does have a bicep swivel as well and you have a bicep curl and she's got a lot of ab crunch as well this is a pretty decent well not too much but this is pretty decent already and her outfit is on softer material including the skirts so these things just attach to her lower body to her hip and yeah it's really really soft so it doesn't it's not going to hinder articulation much but i wouldn't recommend um, playing with it too much though. Yeah, I don't want those to go back in the long run. And yeah, there is a Figma drawing at the very end. And that's it for the articulation, I guess. And let's jump straight into the accessories. All right, so she came with a smiling face, a shouting face, and the default face. Oops, I forgot a hair. But this reminds me a lot of Asuna faceplate. It looks like a repaint of Asuna faceplate to be honest. But yeah, it looks really, really good. I like it. Yeah, there you go. All right, so next up we have her signature weapon and I forgot the name of the sword, I apologize, but I'm really, really happy with what they're doing here with the sword. So basically you can pull this out. They should have done this like 30 figures ago. Like we have to deal with like this crap for the longest time. Like we have to like take this out and then we'll have to stretch the hand all the way just to put this back in. Like my Kirito can barely hold his sword anymore. Like this is really, really bad. So I'm really, really glad that they did this. Yeah. So I think everyone should start doing this, even for SH figure arts as well. Uh, you know, one way or the other, they have to fix that problem. And yeah, of course she came with a handle where you can just put the sword over here, like so. And yeah, it's kind of unfortunate that you can't put the whole sword in. I would really prefer if she can do some kind of pose, you know, pull half of the sword out, whatever, but this is pretty nice as well. Yeah, it's really, really good. All right, so before I talk about a wreck of hands over here, um, I want to quickly mention that she does have the, the clear piece for you to assemble the wings this time because Asuna didn't come with it. I'm pretty sure um, someone from the accessory department screwed up, but she does... I, it's reflecting. Yeah, but she does have this piece this time, so I'm really, really glad that they didn't include this. All right, so she came with a pair of weapon holding hands, a pair of display open hands, and just one left hand for the peace sign, and that looks pretty good. All right, so she also came with one left hand for you to hold the sheath like so, and turns out that you can actually remove the sheath from a hip, but I'm not gonna do that because it feels kind of um, stiff. Um, I'm not gonna risk it, I'm sorry guys. All right, so lastly, she also came with um, this scroll kind of thing, like on paper, um, where she hands over the guild information to Asuna, and she came with a hand where you can hold it with Asuna. I don't have Asuna open, by the way, so I'm not going to try this on. I'm sorry, guys. 
And for the wings, I'm not gonna try the wings as well because I'm not gonna stretch my figure too much, but I'm pretty sure all these are articulated and she's gonna look really, really good with it. And as I mentioned, they do include the clear piece this time so you can assemble these really well. I just don't like using a Figma stand and the pieces over there because these holes are usually very, very small and I always um, chip the paint over here when I try to assemble those. So I'm just not gonna do it. And let's jump straight into some size comparison and all see. All right, so for the size comparison, I'm sorry guys, I'm not gonna do the action poses today because it's getting kind of late here and I really need to go to bed after this. So we're just gonna do the regular regular size comparison and this is what she will look like next to some of the common writers and it looks pretty good all right so next up we have yuki next to kakashi skasuke jotaro and joseph and they look pretty good yeah, yuki's on a smaller side which is very accurate i really like that and next up we have some dragon ball figures and they look really really good and next up we have some avengers figure and they look pretty good as well and here are some Star Wars figure, and I'm pretty sure you guys are very familiar with these if you live in the States. And yeah, they look very, very good. Alright, next up we have some random Figmas. We have the 300 Leonidas, we have Black Rock Shooter, we have Yugi. Yugi is a fantastic figure, and we have Shiro. I have um, reviews up for all these three guys, so you guys should check it out if you haven't. Um, not for Black Rock Shooter though. But yeah, they look really, really good together. And next up, we have some more Kamen Rider figures, and they look very, very cool as well. Alright, so next up, we have Okabe Rintaro, Bruce Lee, Wargreymon, and Ultraman. And they look pretty good. Alright, so finally, we have Yuki next to some of the other Figmas. And I really think it's time for us to get a new Kirito. And I'm not talking about a fairy version, I'm talking about we should get a 2.0 Sword Art Online version. Because I feel like this one is really out of date, and the face expression doesn't really look as good. But yeah, anyways, let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, this is definitely a must-have for any of the SAO fan. Um, the sculpt is beautiful, and everything is superbly done. Like, even the paintwork, and the amount of accessories she came with is sufficient like it's really really nice um do let me know in the comments what you guys think about sword Art online in general i'm personally a diehard fan but i understand that um some people don't like it after season one or something but i still think it's okay and i'm pumped for whatever figures they're pumping out and i think they're doing diva chan next so i'm not too sure about that i'd rather them do another um kirito like i said earlier but yeah, that's it from me. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video as well. And this is Eric. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.